okay today we will start probability distribution uh, there are different kinds of probability distribution uh, in earlier uh, lecture we discussed uh, types of probability problem solving in probability now the probability distribution uh, in this text we will uh, in this lecture we will discuss different kinds of probability actually some important probability of course uh, first of all types of probability distribution uh, majorly it is two types one is discrete distribution another is continuous distributions uh, we have to uh, uh, we have to distribute uh, in different way actually one is discrete for discrete data another is for continuous data mm, uh, one is group data other is ungrouped data ungrouped data uh, ungrouped data is called discrete and continuous is group data remember it uh, for for ungrouped data, discrete distributions, actually binomial, Poisson, uh, negative binomial, geometric, hypergeometric, multinomial, uniform or rectangular distribution. That means seven types, discrete probability distribution. And another part, uh, continuous distribution for group data. Uh, one is uniform or rectangular uh, distribution, normal distribution, gamma distribution, beta distribution, exponential distribution cauchy distribution and laplace distribution also uh, discussed in continuous probability distributions for what which uh, for group data today we will discuss first of all binomial distribution binomial uh, distribution uh, actually a binomial series we must know uh, a plus x whole to the power n uh, and a plus x whole to the power n uh, distribution of n events uh, suppose the number of success uh, there are two will be outcome one is success and other is failure uh, let an experiment be repeated for n independent trials each with one or two possible outcomes one is success and other is failure p suppose there will be a, a probability a success for p and a failure for q a q of failure and a single trial so total probability what success plus failure will, will be total probability one if the probability of success p remains the same trial to trial then the distribution of x is known as binomial distribution and its distribution function can be written as probability of x that means binomial probability binomial distribution of px equals to n factorial n c x n c x p to the power x q to the power n minus x where x equals to 0 1 2 events number of events uh, events will be start from 0 1 2 3 dot dot etc n this binomial distribution was in uh, discovered by james bernoulli James Bernoulli in the year 1700. Okay, this is the actually 300 years ago distribution. Bernoulli discovered this. The following condition must be satisfied for the binomial distribution. Actually, four uh, properties must be satisfied. There should be a fixed number of trials. Trials will be limited. That means fixed number of of trials or events the trials are independent independent means each trials will be separately happened that means independent and number three there are only two outcomes for each trial that means one will be success or failure success or failure head uh, suppose we, we will toss a coin then uh, head may come or uh, tail may come uh, suppose you are wanting that uh, i want head but head may comes or not tail may comes also this is why there are only two outcomes for each trial one is head or trial uh, tail that probability of success and has the probability of failure remain same or constant from trial to trial that means uh, the probability will be same for success also probability of uh, failure also remains same or constant that means equal from trial to trial from every trial uh, suppose in first trial failure may come uh, but in second uh, second trial 
success will be come but in each trial there will be same um, or constant trial to trial uh, what will be the same success or failure actually this is the binomial distribution uh, here nx means what ncx combination combination formula in in this equation there will be combination formula uh, in another uh, one we can uh, this is the binomial distribution can be written also this like this ncr p to the power r q to the power and minus i right in this uh, in this way we can also represent binomial distribution probability of uh, uh, r r means what number of number of events to find the probability of happening of an event once twice thrice dot dot r times r times for r times we can write probability of this ncr p to the power r q to the power n minus r this is the formula for binomial distribution okay we can represent uh, this formula with this formula also and we can also represent p probability of x equals to ncx this is also ncx yeah. x is the number of what trials remember it now derivation uh, of binomial distribution how we will derive uh, let the first x trials resulted in success as and the next that means n minus x x trial gives the result success s and the rest rest means first uh, rest n minus x trials resulted in failure n then the sequence of the success and failures will be s times this will be x s into s into s into s x times success and n minus x times failure D many many failure but un unknown this will be uh, let us consider this is the x times success and this is the n minus x times failure now since the trials are independent and the probability of this particular sequence is p to the power x q to the power n minus 1 because s into s into how many s here x times this is why pro uh, the probability of success what p probability of success p and probability of uh, uh, failure what q this is why p to the power x and this is the power n minus x uh, uh, failure q to the power n minus x and now we interested in any x trials being success and since x trials can be chosen nx ncr formula and cx mutually combine uh, this is the combination formula ncx uh, mutually exclusive away the probability of x can be written as ncx p to the power x q to the power n minus x where x will be 0 1 2 dot dot up to n this is the actually binomial distribution of the probability binomial distribution of the probability now you can put x equals to 1 0 1 2 3 up to n times the probability distribution function of the number of success so attained it's called binomial probability distribution for the various reasons that the probabilities of 0 one two that means x equals to zero x equals to one x equals to two up to x equal to n then x equals to zero then x equals to zero will be q to the power n if you put x equals to zero then we get only q to the power n if x equals to one then n c one n c one q to the power n minus one into p and uh, if n equals to two then n c two q to the power n minus two p two up to dot dot if n equals to n then n c n n c n means what one n c n and nc1 nc1 mane 1 sob sob mane rakhbe ncn equals to 1 then p to the power n p to the power n q to the power n minus n n minus n mane what q to the power 0 this is why q absent here only p to the power n this series can be written as this is the expansion of q plus p whole to the power n q plus p whole to the power n equals to this binomial distribution a plus x whole to the power n look like in, in intermediate uh, in intermediate we study a plus x whole to the power n a to the power n plus nc1 a to the power n minus 1 x to the power 1 plus, uh, plus nc2 a to the power n minus 2 x to the power 2 plus nc3 a to the power n minus 3 x3 the, like this this is the binomial expansion hmm. of uh, the distribution 
this pro uh, their uh, remarks uh, satisfy two properties of density function a probability function of binomial distribution pf this will be must be non negative that means for all x must be non negative probability can never be neg uh, never be negative remember it can never be probability can never be negative this is why this will be non negative uh, summation x equals to 0 to up to n probability of total probability will be 1 total probability what will be n c x p to the power x q to the power n minus x q plus p whole to the power n total probability this right total probability total probability q plus whole to the power n equals to 1 because total probability p plus q equals to q what 1 the two independent constant n and p of the distribution are known as the parameter of the distribution remember it here in the distribution n and p will be parameter if p equals to q equals to half the binomial distribution is symmetric if p equals to q equals to half then it will be symmetric symmetric means what in 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 left and in right uh, equal shape in left and in right in a this there will be equal shape uh, otherwise it will be skew symmetric negative symmetric or skew symmetric positive symmetric etc now there is a uh, easy example four unbiased coins are tossed simultaneously what is the probability of getting how many coin four four coin are tossed simultaneously what is the probability of getting exactly two heads and another condition is at least three heads that means the probability of getting x heads in throwing four unbiased coins will be the probability uh, of by uh, using uh, the probability distribution of binomial probability x equals to and n means what four because number of coin what four four c x this will be p probability of p p equals to what half and q also half uh, probability of success probability of failure half to the power x and half to the power four minus x x equals to what zero one two three four first event zero second event one third event two fourth event three and fifth event what four n equals to four up to four now the probability of getting exactly two heads the probability of two only probability of two what will be just putting here n equals to x equals to two four c two four c two half whole square half two minus two four minus two this will give after calculation three by eight only now probability of getting at least three heads at least three head means what three heads may be maybe four heads also right so probably uh, this will be the sum of probability of three and probability of four probability of four equals to four c three half to the power three half uh, three uh, four minus three that means half to the power one plus just putting n equals uh, x equals to three here uh, this will give uh, putting uh, x equals to four this will be this, this will uh, equals to five by sixteen uh, try to understand similar another example find the probability of getting four heads in six tosses of a fair coin how many tosses six tosses uh, how many heads will be probability of success what four now if, if p equals to half and q equals to half uh, n equals to what six total number of toss now uh, getting four heads four heads means x equals to or r equals to 4 so we get we know probability from the binomial distribution uh, probability uh, p of r equals to ncr q to the power n minus r pr same you can use x in replace of r also that means probability of 4 will be exactly ex um, getting 4 heads this is why just putting r equals to 4 nc4 q to the power 6 minus 4 p to the power 4 this is the result just using calculator here now example two if if on an average one sheep in every 10 is wrecked find the probability that out of five sheep expected to arrive four at least will arrive safely that means out of 10 sheep one sheep is wrecked right out of 10 out of 10 one sheep is wrecked wrecked mean broken uh, that is nine sheep out of 10 sheep are safe okay so probability of safety 
how many 9 by 10 clear 9 by 10 probability of safety will be 9 by 10 now again find the probability that out of five ships expected to arrive a four at least will arrive safely at least four right at least four four ships out of five ships that means probability four or five probability four plus probability five just uh, look like before example uh, at least this is why at least means what uh, r equals to r equals to greater equal to four that means uh, four or five probability of four probability of five just putting the r equals to four uh, in the binomial distribution function and uh, uh, probability uh, r equals to five in and c5 p to the power and minus and minus 5 p to the power 5 minus 5 just using calculator using same formula this right r equals to yes sir five mm, very easy for you uh, another the overall percentage of failures in a certain examination is 20 if six candidates appears in the examination what is the probability that at least five pass the examination Hmm. Probability of failure what? 20. Over a percentage what? Failure 20. So uh, probability of pass will be what? 1 minus 1 by 5. Uh, 20% means 1 by 5. The total probability what? 1. Remember it. Highest probability must be 1. And the minimum probability what? 0. Uncertain For uncertain events, probability will be 0. For sure success event, probability will be must be 1. And this is the Mm, maximum probability one so probability of pass will be one minus one by p one minus four by p the probability of at least five pass probability of that at least five pass the examination at least five pass maniki five or six probability of five probability of six now putting uh, in by in the density function of probability uh, binomial uh, distribution r equals uh, x equals to r equals to five and r equals to six just using calculator, scientific calculator. Now, 10% of screws produced in a certain factory turned out to be defective. That means defective, how many? 10%. Find the probability that in a sample of 10 screws chosen at random, exactly two will be defective. Two will be defective. Now, probability of success, one by 10. 10th, 10% of a screw. 10% means 1 by 10, 100 by uh, 10, 10 by 100 equals to what? 10% can be written as 1 by 10. Now Q equals to 1 minus 1, minus 1 by 10. That means 9 by 10, right? Uh, and equals to what? 10. 10 is screw total. And how many chosen? Mm, in a sample of 10 is screw chosen at random, exactly 2 are equals to what? 2. Now we know probability uh, from probability density function of binomial. Binomial distribution p r equals to n c r p to the power r q to the power n minus r. Just putting n equals to 10, r equals to 2, and p equals to 1 by 10, q equals to 1 by 9 by 10. We get the, this result. Just putting n c2, n c2 means 10 c2. Combination formula. Clear? Very easy. Now the probability that m n aged 60 will live to be 70 is this. MN aged 60 will live to be 70 is 0 0.65. What is the probability that out of 10 men, now 60, at least 7 will live up to 70? Very interesting. Uh, the probability that MN aged 60 will live 70 P equals to what? 0 0.65 percent. 0.65 is the probability of success. Now Q will be 1 minus P. P plus Q equals to 1. This is why Q equals to what? 1 minus P. That means 0 0.35. That means not leave up to 70 will be what 0 0.35 number of total number of men what n equals to 10 10 men total now the probability uh, that at least seven at least seven men at least seven but seven means what at least seven means seven or eight or nine or ten will leave 70 exactly like this okay at least seven this is why at least seven means what this r, equal, r, r greater equal to 7. R greater equal to 7 means what? 7 or 8 or 9 or 10. This is why P7 plus P10 or means what? Union. Union means in probability plus. Remember it. But multiplication, intersection. Uh, from bias theorem, we know also. 
uh, additive law of probability, multiplicative law of prob probability. We already know this. So uh, or means plus P P7 plus probability of P7, P8, P9, P10. Just using the using the probability function of binomial distribution, probability density function of binomial distribution. Uh, ten uh, P7 means what? 10 C7 Q to the power Q to the power 10 minus 7 P to the power 7. 10 C8 Q to the power 10 minus 8 P to the power 8. 10 C9 P to the power 9 Q to the power 10 minus 9. That means P to the power 10 C10. 10 C10 means 1. P to the power 10 minus Q to the power 10 minus 10 means what? Q to the power 0. This is why Q absent here and P to the power 10. Just putting the values of PQ. Very easy. Just calculation. Now another example, example six. If 10% of bolt, bolts produced by a machine are defective, determine the probability that out of 10 bolts, uh, chosen at random, uh, number one, one. Uh, condition, uh, first condition is one, then second condition, none. Third condition at most two bolts will be defective. Uh, very interesting maths. 10% bolt produced by a machine are defective. That means total number of bolts what? Total number of bolts 10. Total out of 10 bolts. This is why total number of bolts what? 10. Now probability of defective P equals to defective P equals to 10%. 10% means 1 by 10. 1 by 10 means 0 0.1. So Q equals to 1 minus P. That means 0 0.9. Not defective. Not defective will be 0 0.9 probability and defective will be probability what? 10%. 10% means 0 0.1. This is the defective. Non defective what? 1 minus P. 0 0.9. Total number of bolts what n equals to 10. Now, first of all, the probability of one defective bolt, one defective bolt, uh, chosen at random, this will be defective. Uh, uh, this one, one bolt. First condition will be you have to find out. First condition, one bolt uh, will be defective. The probability of one defective bolt, 10 C1, are equals to what will be one. 10 C1, P to the power one, Q to the power n minus one. That means 10 minus 1. Okay. This. Pro, uh, second one, pro, none. Probability of no, none is defective. None is defective equals to probability of zero defective bolts. Right. That means r equals to zero. Just putting r equals to zero in binomial distribution function. P of r, r equals to zero. 10 C zero, P to the power zero, Q to the power 10 minus zero. This is the result. A PQ are given. The probability of two defectives. At most two defectives. At most means what? Two defectives. Probability of two defectives what? 10 C2, uh, P to the power 2, Q to the power 10 minus 2. This is the this is the probability of two defectives. Now the probability of at most two defectives, most two defectives. That means zero defective may be one defective, maybe or two defective. That, that means maximum two defectives. The probability of maximum two defectives will be probability of 0 or probability of 1, probability or 2. That means probability of 0, probability of 1, probability of 2, sum of this. Then just putting r equals to 0 in binomial distribution formula, r equals to 1 in binomial distribution formula, r equals to 2 in version, uh, 2 in binomial distribution formula. This, this we have result. Okay. This is the r equals to 0. That means p0 equals to this, p1 equals to this, Okay, P2 equals to this. This way, just taking some of these three probabilities. Then we get the probability of at most two defectives. That means probability of at uh, maximum two defectives. Understand? Yes, sir. Very easy. Just putting the values of R. Now, again, example seven. An underground nine mine has five pumps installed for pumping out storm water. The probability of any one of the Pumps failing during the storm is 18. Underground mine has five pumps. How many pumps? Five pumps. That means n equals to five. Installed for pumping out a storm water. Pumping. Pumping storm water uh, after any. Uh, the probability of any one of the pumps <laughs> failing during the storm is this. This means quality of failure. Quality of failure. 1 by 8. So, 
probability of failure is 1 by 8 so probability of one working probability of pumping pump working will be 1 minus 1 by 8 this will be 7 by 8 okay p equals to 1 by 7 by 8 and q equals to failure 1 by 8 p is the success that means pump working will be 7 by 8 and q is the failure 1 by 8 and equals to 5 pump now we have to find out what is the probability that what is the probability that number one at least two pumps will be working at least two pumps will be working out of five at least two pumps will be working in number two all pumps will be working during a particular tune. all pumps uh, now first condition probability of pumping failure q uh, q equals to one by eight probability of pumping working this we get now at least two pumps working that means what uh, r equals r greater equals to 2 r greater equals to 2 means what p probability of 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 pumps working this equals to what sum of this all probability probability of 2 plus probability of 3 plus probability of 4 plus probability of 5 just putting r equals to 2 3 4 5 etc in the binomial density function pr okay. then we get this result Now in second part, uh, probability of all five, per, five pumps working, that means probability of five just. Probability of five pumps working will be R equals to five. Then NC5, NCR formula, 5C5. 5C5 means what one? Q to the power five, Q to the power five minus five. Q to the power five minus five means what? Q to the power zero. This way seven by eight to the power only five. This is the result. Similar eight example. Uh, nine example this is these two examples uh, for practice at home eight and nine can you do at home this will be homework example eight and example nine will be homework for you uh, and this one two five will be homework for you one two five note down Please everybody note down, 1 to 5 will be homework for you, try it at home. 